Let us pray the Holy Rosary. Please kneel. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The five sorrowful mysteries. The first mystery, the agony in the garden. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second mystery, the scourging at the pillar. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. 
Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The third mystery, the crowning with thorns. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fourth mystery, the carrying of the cross. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, 
but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Glory, Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The fifth mystery, the crucifixion of our Lord. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, 
and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of Mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To you do we cry, poor banished children of Eve. To you do we send up our sighs, mourning and weeping in this valley of tears. Turn then, most gracious Advocate, your eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of your womb, Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Queen of the Holy Rosary of Manawa, pray for us. That we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son, by his life, death, and resurrection, has purchased for us the rewards of eternal life. Grant to beseech you that meditating on these mysteries of the Holy Rosary of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we may imitate what they contain and obtain what they promise through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated. Please stand. Lord, open my lips and my mouth shall declare your praise. Come, let us sing. Give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Come, let us sing to the Lord, and shout with joy to the rock who saves us. Let us approach Him with praise and thanksgiving, and sing joyful songs to the Lord. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. The Lord is God, the mighty God, the great King over all the gods. He holds in His hands the depths of the earth, and the highest mountains as well. He made a seat belongs to Him, the dry land too, for it was formed by His hands. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Come then, let us bow down and worship bending the knee before the Lord our Maker. For He is our God and we are His people, the flock His shepherds. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Today, listen to the voice of the Lord. Do not grow stubborn as your fathers did in the wilderness. When at Meribah and Massa, they challenged me and provoked me, although they had seen all of my works. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Forty years I endured that generation. I said, there are people whose hearts go astray, and they do not know my ways. So I swore in my anger, they shall not enter into my rest. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us give thanks to the Lord, for His great love is without end. Lord, whose love in humble service bore the weight of human need, who did on the cross forsaken, show us mercy's perfect deed. We, your servants, bring the worship, not of voice alone, but heart, consecrating to your purpose, 
to every gift which you impart. As we worship, grant us vision, till your love's revealing light, till the height and depth and greatness dawns upon our human sight, making known the needs and burdens your compassion meets us there, sparing us to faithful service your abundant life to share. Lord, you will accept the true sacrifice offered on your altar. Please be seated. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. O wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done that you may be justified when you give sentence and be without reproach when you judge. O say in guilt I was born, O sinner was I conceived. Indeed, you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O purify me, then I shall be clean. O wash me, I shall be whiter than the snow. Make me hear rejoicing and gladness that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. The pure heart create for me, O God, put its steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me, that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. To rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For in sacrifice you take no delight, burnt offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice a contrite spirit, a humble contrite heart you will not spurn. In your goodness show favor to Zion, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, holocaust offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. All the descendants of Israel will glory in the Lord's gift of victory. Truly with you God is hidden, the God of Israel, the Savior. Those are put to shame and disgrace, who vent their anger against him. Those go in disgrace, who carve images. Israel, you are saved by the Lord, saved forever. You shall never be put to shame or disgrace in future ages. For thus says the Lord, the creator of the heavens, who is God, the designer and maker of all the earth, who established it, not creating it to be a waste, but designing it to be lived in. I am the Lord, and there is no other. I have not spoken from hiding, nor from some dark place of the earth, and I have not said to the descendants of Jacob, Look for me in my empty ways. I, the Lord, promise justice. I foretell what is right. Come and assemble, gather together, you fugitives from among the Gentiles. They are without knowledge who bear wooden idols and pray to gods that cannot save. Come here and declare in council together who announced this from the beginning and foretold it from of old. Was it not I, the Lord, besides whom there is no other God? There is no, no just and saving God but me. Turn to me and be saved, all you ends of the earth, for I am God, there is no other. By myself I swear, uttering my just decree and my unalterable word. To me every knee shall bend, by me every tongue shall swear saying only in the Lord are just deeds and power. Before him in shame shall come, and all who vent their anger against him. In the Lord shall be the vindication and the glory, and all the descendants of Israel. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us go into God's presence, singing for joy. Cry out with joy to the Lord, all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before him, singing for joy. 
Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are His people, the sheep of His flock. Go within His gates, giving thanks. Enter His courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to Him and bless His name. Indeed, how good is the Lord. Eternal His merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Attend to the pleas of your people with heavenly care, O Lord, we pray, that they may see what must be done and gain strength to do what they have seen through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first book of Samuel. All the elders of Israel came in a body to Samuel at Ramah and said to him, Now that you are old and your sons do not follow your example, appoint a king over us as other nations have to judge us. Samuel was displeased when they asked for a king to judge them. He prayed to the Lord, However, who said in answer, Grant the people's every request. It is not you they reject. They are rejecting me as their king. Samuel delivered the message of the Lord in full to those who were asking him for a king. He told them, The rights of the king who will rule you will be as follows. He will take care of your sons and assign them to his chariots and horses, and they will run before his chariot. He will also appoint from among them his commanders of groups of a thousand and of a hundred soldiers. He will set them to do his plowing and his harvesting, and to make his implements of war and the equipment of his chariots. He will use your daughters as ointment makers, as cooks, and as bakers. He will take the best of your fields, vineyards, and olive groves, and give them to his officials. He will tithe your crops and your vineyards, and give the revenue to his eunuchs and his slaves. He will take your male and female servants, as well as your best oxen and your asses, and use them to do his work. He will tithe your flocks, and you yourselves will become his slaves. When this takes place, you will complain against the king whom you have chosen. But on that day, the Lord will not answer you. The people, however, refused to listen to Samuel's warning and said, Not so. There must be a king over us. We too must be like other nations, with a king to rule us and to lead us in warfare and fight our battles. When Samuel had listened to all the people had to say, he repeated it to the Lord, who then said to him, Grant the request and appoint a king to rule them. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Bless the people who know the joyful shout. In the light of their countenance, O Lord, they walk. At your name, they rejoice all the day, and through your justice, they are exalted. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. For you are the splendor of their strength, and by your favor, our horn is exalted. For to the Lord belongs our shield, 
and to the Holy One of Israel, our King. Forever I will sing the goodness of the Lord. Please stand. A great prophet has arisen in our midst, and God has visited his people. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. When Jesus returned to Capernaum after some days, it became known that he was at home. Many gathered together so that there was no longer room for them, not even around the door. And he preached the word to them. They came bringing to him a paralytic carried by four men. Unable to get near Jesus because of the crowd, they opened up the roof above him. After they had broken through, they let down the mat on which the paralytic was lying. When Jesus saw their faith, he said to him, Child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there asking themselves, why does this man speak that way? He is blaspheming. Who but God alone can forgive sins? Jesus immediately knew in his mind what they were thinking to themselves. So he said, Why are you thinking such things in your hearts? Which is easier to say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven, or to say, Rise, pick up your mat, and walk. But that you may know that the Son of Man has authority to forgive sins on earth. He said to the paralytic, I say to you, rise, pick up your mat and go home. He rose, picked up his mat at once, and went away in the sight of everyone. They were all astounded and glorified God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mga kapatid, ang tunay na pagmamahal sa kapwa ay mas nauugat o nakadikit sa pananampalataya. Sapagat ang pananampalataya sa iyong pamamalasakit at pakikitungo sa kapwa ang siyang mismong nagbibigay ng halaga nito. Pananampalataya ang nagbibigay ng meaning sa iyong pakikitungo, pakikiisa, at malasakit, pagpapakita ng malasakit sa kapwa. Sapagat kapag wala rin pananampalataya sa iyong pagmamahal sa kapwa, ay nako, mababaw yan. Hindi rin yan magtatagal. Pero kapag may pananampalataya, malalim yan. Tatagal yan dahil alam mo, ginagawa mo yan hindi lamang para sa iyo. Hindi lang para sa kapwa. Ginagawa mo to para sa Diyos. Makita mo sa eksena ng ating Ibanghelyo, isa sa mga pinakamagandang eksena actually. Gustong gusto ko yung eksena. May apat na magkakasama. Pilit na ilapit ang taong may sakit sa ating Panginoong Hesus. Kaya ang ginawa, umakyat sa bubong. At doon, binaba galing sa bubong yung taong may sakit. Mailapit lang sa ating Panginoon. Walang sinasabi yung Ibanghelyo kung magkakilala talaga yung apat at saka yung may taong may sakit. Well, pwede natin i-assume. Wala rin sinasabi kung kapatid ba, kamag-anak. Kung makikita natin sa kwento, yung apat na magkakasama, pilit nilapit ang taong may sakit. Something na unimaginable na ginawa. 
Kumbaga sa joke pa, see what love can do? Kung wala bang pag-ibig yun, hindi-hindi nila gagawin yun. Pero mas malalim na pag-ibig ang pinakita nito. Pag-ibig na nakadikit sa pananampalataya. Na ginagawa na nila ito, hindi lang para sa kanila, hindi lang sa taong may sakit, ginagawa na nila nito dahil sa Diyos. Even to the point that it's something unimaginable or impossible to happen, pag ginawa nila, because they believe that with God, nothing is impossible. Kaya magandang paalala sa atin, alam ko kapag pag-ibig ang pinag-uusapan, pagmamahal ang pag-uusapan, masyado nakatutok sa, pananam, sa, sa personal. Nakakatut- na, dito lang ang tinitignan. Kaya magandang paalala ang eksena ng ating Ibanghelyo, na ang tunay na pagmamahal sa kapwa, tunay na malasakit sa kapwa, pakikitungo sa kapwa, dapat nakadikit sa pananampalataya. Dahil gagawin mo ito sa ngalan ng Diyos. At talagang tsak na magtatagal yan. Malalim yan. Ibig sabihin, may halaga. Nakarami na rin akong nakausap ng mga nagdiwang na kanilang golden jubilee or anniversary sa kasal. At lagi kong tinatanong, kasi tuwan-tuwa ako sa mga taong nagdiwang na kanilang 50 years sa marriage. At ito lagi kong tanong, Nay, Tay, paano ba ginawa? Paano, ano pong ginawa ninyo nung kayo, bakit kayo nakaabot? Madalas sa sagot ay ganito, Well, tsaga, unawa, pagpapatawad, pagtanggap. Pero nung tinatanong ko, bakit yung ginagawa ninyo yung pag-unawa, pagpatawad, pagtanggap muli ng paulit-ulit? Isa lang ang laging sagot, Diyos. Kapag wala ang Diyos, hindi nila kayang unawain ang kanilang asawa. Kapag wala ang Diyos, hindi sila magtatagal. Hindi nila kayang paulit-ulit na tanggapin at patawarin ang kahinain ng bawat isa. Ito ang sinasabi ko, kapag ang pag-ibig, may kasamang pananampalataya, aba, matiba yan. Panghabang buhay yan. Kaya magandang paalala sa atin, ngayon, magsisimula na naman ang alert level 3. Nasa bahay na naman tayo, social distancing, physical distancing. Nakakatuwa nga yung eksena sa Ibanghelyo eh. Totally opposite. Or posibleng mangyari yun. May, makaiwas lang sa, sa, sa tao, idadaan sa taas. Makalapit lang sa Diyos. Magandang paalala sa atin, kumusta ba ang ating pakikitungo sa kapwa? Ano ba yung ating motivation sa, aking, sa ating pagbibigay malasakit sa, sa ibang tao? Tayo tumutulong sa kapwa. Ano ba yung mas nangingibabaw? Emosyon lang ba? Nako, kapag ito lang ang nangingibabaw sa ating pakikitungo sa kapwa, pabago-bago to eh. Hindi magtatagal to. Mas tinitingnan dito yung, 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 yung personal satisfaction lang. Kaya nga pinapaalala sa atin, sana pasukan natin ng Diyos. Pananampalataya. If we are going to look at the story, we might be asking, what makes, what is that something that makes meaningful to the story? Actually, hindi naman about the quick recovery. It's not really about the full recovery of the, pers- of the sick person. If there is something so meaningful that happened in the story today, it's actually about the forgiveness of sins. Yun ang sinasabi ko. Kapag may pananampalataya, hindi lang physical o material na satisfaction ang mapapasayo. Babaguhin mismo yung buong pagkatao mo. Emotion, psychological, and even spiritual life. Kaya nga sabi ko nga eh, so meaningful in the story is not about the full recovery. Oo, sabihin natin, napakahalaga yun. But it becomes more so meaningful, more meaningful, 
after Jesus said that your sins are forgiven. Hindi lang siya gumaling, naging mas mapayapa pa ang buhay niya. Aanhin naman yung sagana ka nga. Aanhin naman yung nasa taas ka nga. Nasa ibabaw ka nga. Aanhin naman yung nasa iyo na ang lahat. Pero kapag hindi ka mapayapa, wala rin. Oo, masaya ka nga. Andun yung personal love mo. Physically satisfied. Materially Provided, and dun lahat, sufficient. Pero paano naman kapag yung konsensya mo? Disturb. Dumaling ka nga. Natakasan mo nga. You made it successfully. Nakalusot ka. Naggawa mo. Happy ka. Nalusutan mo. Pero paano kapag you are not at peace? Wala din. Pero kapag ang pagmamahal mo sa iyong ginagawa, yung pagmamahal mo sa buhay, pagmamahal mo sa kapwa, pagmamahal mo at malasakit mo sa lahat ng structure ng ating lipunan, na pag sinamahan mo yan ng pananampalataya, hindi ka lang magtatagumpay. Mapayapa ka pa. Please stand. With all the trust of the paralytic's friends, let us bring to the Lord the needs and mysteries of the church and of the world. And for every petition, we shall say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Spirit may guide the church in carrying out Christ's mission to preach forgiveness of sins to all who seek God's mercy, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may foster peace in the hearts of men and women by our readiness to forgive and forget past offenses, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That we may be ready to bring Christ, especially to those who lives, whose lives were shattered by painful circumstances, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the handicapped may continue to hope and to trust in God, who wishes wholeness for everyone. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our departed brethren may have fullness of life in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. In silence we offer to God all our personal intentions while seeking for the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the forgiveness shown to us by your Son. May we, in turn, show forgiveness to all who have offended us. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, 
it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May your people's oblation, O Lord, find favor with you, we pray, that it may restore them to holiness and obtain what they devoutly entreat. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We we'll lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Almighty God. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And his coming in glory we await in unwavering hope. And so, with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, of fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the twofold, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church is spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ.
through Him, and with Him and in Him. O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who Lord art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Please kneel for the prayer for the elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides the destinies of nations. And we shall say, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. 
from coercion, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Let us pray together. Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord, that conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. The genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. Please stand. The Lord has come to his people and set them free. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies, from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us, to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The, the Lord, Lord has come to his people and set them, them free. Let us pray. Humbly we ask you, O Lord, be graciously pleased to grant that those you renew with your sacraments may also serve with lives pleasing to you. To the Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. We go in peace. Thanks be to God. We shall do the blessing of the sick and the blessing of the religious articles. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who made heaven and earth. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters. Free them from all illness and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Mother of Our Lady of the Rosary of Banawag, may all your religious articles be blessed and made holy in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.